horizon for Illinois football. They did exactly what they needed to do, and it's out of conference games this season, going undefeated in non-con for the first time since 2011. The defense did not allow a touchdown to Wyoming, Virginia, and Chattanooga. That's also a first going back to 1921. On the offensive side of the ball, the progress can certainly be seen over the first third of the season, but Barry Lunny's system really showed its passing ability on Thursday against the Mocs with Tommy DeVito throwing for 329 yards to nine different receivers. He's done a great job just putting us in a position to just make football plays as fo great football players, you know, just putting us in space and letting us letting our abilities go to work. He do that with everybody, you know, it's multiple receivers who getting the ball, the running back getting the ball. Um, and he just makes sure, you know, we attacking defenses vertically, horizontally, and um, I feel like he's just helping us a lot. It's another Saturday off for the Illini, so here's a look around the Big Ten today. Michigan with the big win over Maryland. Probably a little bit closer than they thought that one was going to be. Then two teams on the Illini schedule. Minnesota running all over Michigan State to start 1-0 on the season in the Big Ten. Indiana on the road in Cincinnati having some troubles there. Not good for the Illini after losing to them earlier this season. And later tonight, the Illini's next opponent, Wisconsin, losing big at Columbus against Ohio State. We'll see if that has 